All right, all right, all right. Hey, 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 organic family. Hey, hey, hey. You already know it's that time. Right now, I'm here explaining my product called No Flu Tea. I'm explaining the product right now about No Flu Tea, why you should have it. It should be in your house. It should be given as a gift to a family member or, or anyone in need of it <clears throat> with coughing, uh, congestion, Anyone that uh, has a fever, which is a good thing to have a fever, that means your body's working. So basically right now, I got this for $25. You have uh, five of them already in the store, in the TikTok shop. I have it being sold in the Poughkeepsie Galleria. I also have it sold in South Carolina. You can go to my website. But right now, I got it here on the TikTok store, and I only was able to place five of them there. <clears throat> Because it keeps on selling out so fast. So right now you got $25 for no flu tea. And let me just tell you what it is. You have your elderberry in there. Your elderberry, it boosts your lymphatic system, which is your immune system. It loosens mucus and assists with your respiratory. A lot of people, especially right now, is going through respiratory issues. Um, my thing is you have to stop from eating so much cooked food you got to stay away from the starch for a little while you got to stay away from the dairy for a little while and all of that hybridized wheat you got to chill out from that because that right there backs up into your system and then you catch what they call you caught a cold but actually your body on the inside needs some cleaning all right so this no flu tea right here can do the work for you now as you might see i posted it up the other day just one tea bag alone makes approximately up to 32 or so ounces. That means you're only taking six ounces for yourself. So now if everyone in the family is sick, you have about five people that are sick. Each one person gets a six ounce cup on an empty stomach. That's the hack, but I'll get into that momentarily. The next herb that you have in there is called sarsaparilla root. It contains a lot of iron. It's, it, it assists with the blood. It helps with your blood pressure, uh, cholesterol, and it treats fevers, just to name a few. Now, when I say treat fevers, don't be afraid of having a fever because your body is supposed to have a fever in order to get rid of all the gook that's inside of it. So what happens is we were taught to go and get the over-counter medication. So when we end up doing that, we end up suppressing the, 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 the mucus and the germs and the free radicals and keeping them in our body. So if you take any, if you're sneezing, it's a good thing. That means your body picked up a free radical and is pushing it out. If you have to cough, that's another thing. That's your body working the way it's supposed to, to spit it out because it's not supposed to be trapped inside your body. Okay. The next root is ginger root it has to be organic. That's inside the no flu tea, organic ginger root. It helps, uh, it's loaded with antioxidants. It prevents, uh, prevents stress and damage to your DNA. A lot of people didn't know that. It helps fight off chronic diseases like high blood pressure and heart disease. I'll get more into detail with that in a few minutes. And then I have key lime in there. Key lime contains antioxidants. It reduces inflammation, high levels of vitamin C, helps against infections, and speeds up the body's healing process. Okay, that's important. And these are fruits that do it. Vegetables don't do it. Vegetables build the system, build the cells. That's glucose. We need fructose, not high fructose corn syrup, regular fructose, which they would say has been, uh, it's been labelized in this society as H302. Okay, that's something that's important. But now, last but not least, this is the real kicker in the no flu tea, is the cayenne pepper. The cayenne pepper increases blood circulation, improves the blood vessels, it strengthens the plaque buildup, reduces heart disease, it's uh, anti-inflammatory, it, uh, it works with gut health, and that's important because you need to remove that stuff out your gut. A lot of us have been eating, especially around this season here. I'm going to keep it 100. This season here has been crucial. Most 
people get sick around this season, or I, I, I dislike using the word sick or illness, they feel well less around this season because, first of all, we wear layers of clothes so your skin can't breathe. Your skin is the third kidney. Okay, as long as your skin not breathing, you holding everything in. If you're not sweating, you're holding all those toxins in. If you're next to an airport, you got airplane debris flying. You got all construction. You got cr c construction debris. Um, what you're touching, the the cleaners that you use. Um, you're you're you know you're in everyone's mist, and you're absorbing all these different free radicals in your body fights to keep you striving and keeps you alive so now with the no flu tea it assists you with just that one tea bag fills up 32 ounces you get 10 tea bags right inside here okay you get 10 tea bags for 25 dollars now i'm gonna tell you a story around the pandemic time this is when i incorporated putting together the no flu tea Everybody was going, you know, going around feeling different uh, from runny nose, uh, lightheadedness. Uh, they lost their appetite. When when they said that they lost their appetite, I said that's a good thing, because what happened is now when you start listening to your body, and you lose an appetite, that's telling you, I gotta stop eating. Your body saying the reason why you lose your taste buds is because I need you to stop eating. But we're hard-headed. What we end up doing is start making soup. Soup isn't bad, but let me just tell you how we make soup. We make soup in the American Standard Diet with your chicken, your noodles, the carrots, the corn, the uh, the noodles. You, so you got you got uh, stressed meat, which is your chicken, full with the different hormones in there. And what you are what you eat. So if you eat in chicken, that's have the hormones in there and the steroids because we need ras uh, fast uh, reproductive uh, 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 process for the market. Then you absorbing that. And then um, you got the pasta. So you got starch that turns into sugar. These at sugar that is coming from the, the pasta, it turns into sugar, which is an acid. And when your body picks up acid, it brings calcium to that location and and to try to uh the, the, the uh to destroy the mucus and because it can't because we're eating so much of it it calcify in that area so once it calcifies in that area the area that that has that hard mucus just blocking it you can't absorb any nutri uh, nutrients so what happens is the cells start to deteriorate in that area so we have to remove from eating a lot of cooked food all the time especially the food combinations I just had one client last year do a 30-day juice detox cleanse from my product and she did it for basically losing weight but overall her energy levels impact like crazy because in order to detox you need fruits fruits are electrical and that's what I gave her. Also, you have fruits, which is your elderberry and your lime inside this right here. You're gonna you're gonna feel the energy. You're gonna relieve yourself of all the the uh, the mucus that's built up in your body. Okay, that's important. I said, let me go and explain what the no flu tea is about, so that people are aware of stop using the over-counter medication unless that's what you if that's all you have you got to do what you got to do but at the end of the day what you want to do is relieve your body of all the different stresses and chemicals there's a book that i read and and basically the author said the difference between medication and um poison is the dosage figure that <laughs> just figure that everything here in the no flu tea grows in nature it grows in nature and that's what we got to start getting organic family we start we have to start getting back to the roots of understanding our body how we were designed we were we were built by design it's important you know i'll just give you a little brief of myself like nine years ago had a little 
uh, stages of liver kidney failure, type 2 diabetes, heart disease. I'm 51 right now. July 4th, I'll be 52, and I have nothing. No, nada. What, what pissed me off the most is when they told me all the medications and steroids that they gave me, that I have to take that for the rest of my life. Then I asked the nurse, I said, are you serious? She said, yes. And she made a corny joke and said, well, at least you don't die with it. That was the icebreaker. That was it. I'm never going back to dealing with the, the medical federales like that unless there's a real need for it. I'm going to do everything the holistic way. Then when I went to school for integrative nutrition, that was a wrap. You should have left me in the dark. I started learning more things than what I could possibly imagine. And I'm here to share this with you guys so that you guys can wake up and enjoy what's going on because this is sick. It's really, it's really crazy out there. Anytime people caught a, uh, 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 um, had to sneeze or they were choking, you know, coughing up, they would take medicine. And the medicine just stops you from doing it but never solved the problem. And then, you know, you got health coaches that would work with uh, as many people as they can and tell you, the correct way of doing things. The doctors don't have a chance, don't have enough time in the day to tell you what you're actually going through. And basically, it's called the medical practice. So pretty much, I'm giving everybody the same thing. And everybody can't be diagnosed the same way. You have a homegirl of mine. She went to the doctor's office, and she had to get, um, 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 she was going for her regular routine. And her, her regular physical and what happened was they said we can't let you leave because your blood pressure is high so they asked her if she's on medication it was like no i haven't started my medication then they said well listen you better start taking your medication this is the kicker here's the kicker there's always a kicker to the shenanigans they said i want you to go in this room drink some water and relax soon as 45 minutes went through and she relaxed back to normal does that mean that she need medication or does that mean she needs to know how to balance her stress better? There we go again with the medical practice. Once again, I'm not speaking against any medical federalities out there. I'm just giving you my understanding and hopefully you can understand too because what makes sense got to make sense. If you're telling me the only thing I need to do is pretty much meditate, that means my, my, my body picks up stress which caused me to be in fight or flight mode, which causes my blood pressure to rise. But as soon as I go back to normal, my blood pressure is back to normal. There's nothing wrong with me. Because if I truly needed medication, it would take the medication to stop that. But at Roots and Rhythmology, our food is our medication. Got to start eating your, got to start eating the proper foods. So today I said, let me go up there and show some love about one of my products that I've been selling like bananas called No Flu Tea. No Flu Tea. You can check it out on the TikTok store. If you're in South Carolina, you can check it out at the Roots and Rhythmology Health and Wellness Oasis. If you're in upstate New York, you can go to the Poughkeepsie Galleria and check us out at the uh, Low Kelly Vendors Market. We should have more bags up there. If not, then you just go ahead and to the website and order from there. All right, guys, I just wanted to share that information with you. And last but not least, just remember, the body works like this. As soon as you eat something, your body has to digest it. Then your body has to change it from a, 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 a macronutrient to a micronutrient. That's a, a process, and depending on what you ate. Then your body absorbs the nutrients from what you just ate. That's another process. Then you must utilize the minerals and the vital minerals that you got from that food. And then the rest is eliminated. Let me just tell you how people get jacked up or what we call sick or the flu. They're eating horrible. They're eating all the weird times of the day. Because of so much acid-forming foods, their body cannot absorb anything because of the calcification that's there. So that means if you can't absorb, that means your body cannot utilize the nutrients. 
So you'll have some type of weakness in the body. Everybody's weakness is different. There's something called bio-individuality. One man's food is another man's poison. Yada, 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 yada. Everybody's not the same. And what you finish utilizing gets either stored as fat and the rest get eliminated. When you don't eliminate, you accumulate, and that's where the disease come from. That's just real quick food for thought. So I just showed you no flu tea. You can check it out at the TikTok shop. Get your no flu tea before it runs out. And as we say in Roots and Rhythmology, a little R&R could go a long way. Thank y'all for showing up. Talk to y'all soon.